Okay, guys, be ready for your uh, July reading. And thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments. I enjoy all of them. It's like I enjoy um, doing these readings for you every month. All right, so let me do a little shuffle. And I'll show you the deal on camera. Power. Five of Coin. All right. King of Swords. Two of Cups and the Intuition High Priestess card. So at the center of your reading is the Tower, which is of course can mean a breakup, a break, you know, a breakdown of a relationship, moving. Um, not necessarily a good card, but not always bad. I could read the King of Swords as you, but I feel like this is the other person. And you need to use your intuition. You feeling left out, this person either split off with you, broke up, is just leaving you out in the cold with the Five of Coins. And the relationship, of course, the Two of Cups is at the base, and that is the um, just the relationship it's, itself. It was a close relationship, so it looks like for some of you, July, uh, maybe a tough month. This is not really, um, this is very another very specific reading, which is interesting because I don't feel like this is necessarily energy coming in for everyone, so don't worry. Um, for a few of you, this has just happened. So as you watch this reading, this has just already happened. You've gone through some type of major split or breakup. It could have been that you knew it was coming with the High Priestess or you knew things were going wrong. It could be that you um, used your intuition about this person and you broke it off. And now you are feeling left out in the cold either way. Um, so, again, the King of Swords, when I read the card only, not the sign, just the card. And I have a sneeze coming on, so hang on. Um... Oh, excuse me. Um, the card represents, not the sign, represents someone being cold, um, distant, not very thoughtful, you know, more in their head than their heart, not really caring, uh, not really taking the time for you, that type of thing. So it could be that you gave this relationship a lot of your time and effort and it just didn't work. This person left you feeling left out in the cold and they just didn't care. And so you, or it could be also that they did something and you used your intuition, you picked up on it, you trusted your gut and um, you found something out also, could also mean with this reading the way I see it. And either way, it was, you know, a very close bond relationship and now you're feeling left out. You're feeling alone and sad. I'm going to pull a card right off the bat for this. For the um, from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck card, that this is the deck I'm using this month for July. Let's see what the cards have to say. The message for this reading. Okay, Stormfields. Yeah, this is obviously kind of what the tower represents. And again, this is very specific for your sign. So this may end up leading. I had to do this with Scorpio because I just felt like it was just very, very, I was picking up on someone's energy or, you know, a very small probably, portion of your, your assigned energy. So this is um, not going to happen to a lot of you. So don't necessarily worry. All right. Let me read to you at nine storm fields. This too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you have left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Okay, so this also doesn't have to be a, um, a breakup. This can just be fighting. A major fight, a big fight. Um, and sometimes when you're being felt left out in the cold by someone, sometimes you you do fight. You go to them and you stir something up and get it going so that you can find out what's going on. What's going on with the two of you. Um, let's see. Pent up energy needs release. Just as a storm in nature must break, 
for these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Okay, so notice that. They use the line temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside of you or between you and someone else will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little bit. Okay, so that's why I felt like I wanted to go to the cards and see what they said. So this sounds more like just a big fight. Um, you may instigate it and get it going, but it sounds like that what will come from it uh, will be something good. You'll figure out what's going on in your relationship. Um, maybe you'll be surprised by something that the other person has to say or... Maybe they don't know. Maybe that's why he's being cold and distant. He doesn't know what you're thinking. He's confused. Uh, maybe there's something that happened and you don't realize it. And he He's thinking one thing and you're thinking another. So this is a good thing, actually. Um, it says it'll benefit you later and the sun will shine. Um, don't be afraid to shake things up a little bit. So I think you're going to use your intuition. You're going to know when the right time is maybe to approach and to... Um, get this you know get this going talk it out so and again she's you know feeling left out in the cold right now and the sun's not shining it's kind of dark so this is where you're at now but th that will change because this is obviously a very special meaningful um, relationship for you because the two of cups is the base so if that's um, where you're headed in July and you feel like you're not sure, then this is, you know, reading that tells you to, you know, shake things up and get things going that it'll benefit the relationship somehow and you'll learn something new or, you know, help it heal or grow or move forward. So I hope this reading helps. Again, um, not for everyone, of course, but I hope those that it does help, you have a great month of July and take care.